My materials for this lesson are inks and gesso. Higgins Brand Black India Ink, Dale Rowney Acrylic Inks in Waterfall Green and Flame Red, and Golden Brand Gesso, which I put in a squeeze bottle. I start by painting an abstract shape on the paper with a large brush loaded only with water. This will provide a fun surface for the inks and gesso to explode onto and begin to blend. I paint to the edge of the paper on uh, three sides of the paper in different places on each side. This makes it possible to pour off some excess water or paint and to start filling the page with the design. Next, I drop her on some black ink. I always suggest using some black because it's bolder and immediately expressive. Next, I drop her on some colored inks. The acrylic inks are thicker consistency than the more fluid Higgins inks. The Higgins inks also come in lovely colors and, and blend very easily with each other. I tip the board for more movement and blending. Add a little red for contrast. And then I squirt on some drops of gesso, which is thick, different consistency. And then I pick up the notched spreader tool, which you can get in a hardware store, drawing it through the gesso in inks to get some fun texture and line going. Add a little more black so I have something to work with there. Some more line. The roller tool is another great way to move the pigment around on the paper. Mixing it up with the gesso to get some new paint blends. And I can fill in some of the white paper this way. Now I'm going to use a stamp that I've carved from soft linoleum block. I have many personal designs and symbols I've carved for use in my art pieces. This one is a woman with a hand drum. So I pick up paint from the surface by stamping into various wet places and then transfer the colors to another spot on the paper with the stamp. I need more color, so I squeeze out some of the same inks and gesso onto a paper palette. I also like to use the Stay Wet pal acrylic palettes. Also a bit of gesso. Mixing the gesso with any of the inks gives me a more opaque paint, which I can use to paint in some more quiet areas. So here I'm mixing up some gray. I'm designing here. I'm designing the page. I have no idea what the content is yet. I'm just thinking shapes. Painting over some more of the white. I love working with the spontaneous things that have already happened on the page. And just smoothing out here so I don't have a hard edge that attracts attention. So now I apply more paint to the stamp of my drummer woman. And 
more than one color, so it has more interest. And now I'm stamping a series of drummers. So they're marching off the page. I don't want to overwork the piece at this point, but I use the neutral gray to mute the edges so that the eye can focus inside the piece. And I paint in some steps for the drummers to walk on. There's more painting over of the whites at the edge. Now I do a bit of red splatter to finish the first stage of my art journal piece. Then I add collage and some words from the Tao Te Ching. True straightness seems crooked. True wisdom seems foolish. True art seems artless. And I'm finished. Mm -hmm.